And he was hot. What? Who cares? Give Camden his phone. He had a bag of piatos in his After making it through the first elimination, Iwan E dropped out for personal reasons before the dual position challenge. It's a bummer because he really only got to perform like one really solid number. Yeah. And I think he was sick at the time, so he kind of struggled. It is curious because, you know, he was able to come back and host the sports day. Yeah. Well, so I wonder, I wonder what, if. What was it? What if he got co- or No, I don't think they. if he had gotten COVID, they would have kept maybe that i don't know it would have been he would have been well enough that like he could still participate in that way but not actually compete so i i almost wonder like was it like an injury or something mm. or was it like yeah i just very cornbread yeah yeah but i can still be here yeah but i just can't perform. i mean i love that they well first of all i like that he got to l do the emceeing the first elimination. Mm -hmm. the and so I like that they were able to bring him back for the second one. I liked that through line. And everyone was like excited to see him or whatever. But yeah, it's a bummer. It did feel like he left too soon for sure. Yeah, because I think there was something that it would have been interesting to see like what, what uh, he would have done. He, yeah, where he would have ended up, what song he would have performed. Mm -hmm. Lee Dong Gun came into the competition and was noticed for his distinct features. He was among one of the first to get an edit for his star level test that unfortunately wasn't favorable. Dongun, I feel like, started off the show rocky because in that first star challenge, they were like, oh, he's bad. Or like he, yeah, that like. Was the narrative. Yeah, that he chose this really adventurous song, like really big, but couldn't sing it like he was pitchy and his voice was cracking yeah but like the thing with Duncan is that even though <laughs> that's the case he'll still perform it to like he is on Broadway he's a like, performer he is poor performing and what I found out was that he is actually gonna be in a debut group they do like the Instagram where they show like the trainees and stuff yeah, yeah. so and then they showed like he's he's a contestant at Boys Planet so he'll be in a group that is supposed to come out Wow. So that makes me feel a little bit better. I mean, I did I did like him on the show. I feel like we didn't get to see his personality. But every time we saw him, it was giving like sassy. The best, very, the, the best part. Of, the best part of Feel Special. Feel special. You know what? Feel Special will leave, live on because of Nong Gooden's uh, performance. His face. Star quality. Star quality. Che Jin faced a challenging mission in his rap verse for the song Man in Love. Although persevering in the end, his efforts weren't enough to rise his rank significantly into the next round. So Choi Woo Jin got a little um, shout out from Kum Jun Hyun when he got picked because he was like, he's my other like trainee for my same yeah. company and I hope I get to see him here. Yeah. He... I feel like he didn't really stand out, which is unfortunate, but I thought that he did a great job in Man in Love. Yeah. I think it helped that it was a smaller group so that obviously they are able to shine a little bit more. Yeah. And I thought he did a great job. There are only a few in this round of eliminations. There's only a few where it felt like they didn't get screen time. And he's definitely one of them yeah. where it was like, who you said, Wu Jin. I said, who Jin? <laughs> Sorry. We can't Sorry. laugh. We mustn't laugh. We mustn't laugh. We're using humor to get through it. Just barely making it after the first elimination, Jung Yi Chan had a good performance for the dual position, but it seemed to be too little, too late. I, oh. I'm bummed about this one. I'm bummed about Yi Chan. I because just think I went on the YouTube, the youtube.com slash. He's a really good singer. 
I mean, it's hard because you only have so little opportunity. It but doesn't even feel like he's like bad. The only thing I will say is like in his PR, because I rewatched it today just to like refamiliarize myself because there's so many people that I was like, Who I don't they? remember what their PR was. Like even Haruto, I haven't watched his since way early. I don't remember Haruto's PR. Yeah. I don't remember what he does. And I love Haruto. But Ichan like sings in his and, and he, he sounds great. good, but he he still like does like nervous ticks i think yeah. when he sings i i'm gonna say something ichan oh. i don't think ichan should be in a boy group sure i really think his talent his personality fits him more as like a singer songwriter but which is hard because you can't really do that unless you really hustle hard to make yourself like you know to like self-produce and stuff yeah or get picked up to do that and yeah. I feel like they'll only people like, you know, labels will only do that when it's it feels like it's like a diamond in the rough. And I do think he like he is like a, there's something special about him. His voice sounds so shiny to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like it it's got like a throwback like R&B vocals that gives me like indie alt type of music. Yeah. I, yeah. Because he was an island. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I wonder like. You know, this might be his dream still, obviously, but it does feel like he could really just shine on his own. Each. <laughs> Each. Park Hyun Bin was most famously known for his shirtless vest. A great sport, his infectious laughter and sense of humor will be missed on and off the stage. Hyun Bin. Oh, Hyun Bin is so funny. Hyun Bin is... So- Sh- like did not expect him to be no. as funny as he was and his english is like so cute his <laughs> it's english like, is very cute very good but in like a i don't know like he's just he was so fast with it uh my it's favorite honestly my favorite hyunbin moment is in that like background where he was the backstage video where he was like doing the doing impression bits. impression of ricky people. yeah that is so funny it's like a little brother energy yeah that's what it is. That he's just up for a good time. Even when he, you know, got pranked. Even though he was like, please don't make me wear this. I'm going to look stupid. And they were like, no, you have to. He was like, well, all right. Like, he was still yeah. down with it. And then, like, did the corny poses. Yeah. Because he's like, I'm just going to own up that it's silly. Yeah. Rather than, you know, like an America's Next Top Model where a model gets a haircut that they don't want. And, right. You know, he could have gone. Yes, he could have like fully gone that route, but he didn't. I also really something that really endeared me to him was how emotional he was in that first elimination. Like how yeah. badly he wanted to stay. Yeah. That was very endearing. Some of them are probably told that like you got to be strong or whatever. Right. But I think we just are very emotional people, so we connect with people who can be emotional. Yeah. He's also got a little like snaggle teeth on the side. Yeah, it's cute. It's very cute. I like people with perfect teeth, but I also like people who don't have perfect teeth. As a person who doesn't have perfect teeth. You like the bunny teeth. You like I a love little snaggle. Bunny teeth. Give me a gap. Give me a gap. Despite being ranked 13 at the first elimination, E. Dao's fall from grace seemed inevitable by the end. I'm literally getting emotional right now. This is so stupid. I don't know these people. <laughs> I know. From the minute I watched the signal, the the here I am video, and he smiled. I do, you I remember, remember because you we were, were in, in the room. I was in the room, and then when we were at New Year's Eve, you even showed our friends. I showed friends, and I was like, wait. And then I paused and rewound to when he smiled, and I. Kn- I don't know what it is. He seems like the sweetest person in the world. And I know he got like a little bit of a villain edit. This one felt like an edit. It was someone who was like sure of themselves and want like he w- it was very genuine. Like him having a hard time learning the dance and the singing. Right. Him picking his teams and wants to like redeem himself by right. being like, I want to sing this rapper part. Yeah. You know, like it just, they all feel like decisions that are fair to make. Yeah. 
He didn't deserve to be in Bet Blair. I will, I will be the first one to say he is not a strong enough performer to be in Bet Blair. And I may have voted for him that first week, but there were like three weeks of voting for that first elimination. And by the end of the first elimination, he wasn't even in the top nine. Yeah. So everyone was like freaking out about something that was was not a problem. Yeah. Because it was going to resolve itself simply from people seeing more of I think it's I think this is like the thing of like when you show the votes halfway through because then like people he was four in that first episode, but like the first episode was after just however long of voting and it was just purely from fan cams and like whatever which yeah. means nothing guys we don't know anything anyway that's all i feel about that i feel like he got like kind of a raw deal i think he had the most 180 from mm-hmm. like the public because he went from four to ended his time in 47, 47. which like that's wild it was wild that he was in four i will i will admit that it's wild that he was in four he didn't probably deserve that. But also, I don't think he deserves 40s. I don't know. I don't know, guys. But I'm also crazy. I'm going to miss that. Our beloved Blue House homeowner. Ah! <laughs> ah! Our beloved Blue House homeowner. He was able to show his charms and did perform well in the second challenge. However, Bakhtawa couldn't beat the dozen allegations. For that, he was sent home. Okay, so I rewatched today, and in his TMI, in his TMI, they ask what his favorite part of his body is. And he was like, I love to work out, so my back. Bakhtawa. Back doa. This is my general feeling for all the quote unquote dozens that was in this group. Dozens that wasn'ts. Dozens that wasn'ts. Specifically the two houses. Yeah, yeah. Because the neighborhood. The neighborhood, yes. The yeah. suburbs. The suburbs. The cul de sac. Because of how that went about the the two houses right at the very beginning. Not take themselves too seriously. That they need to beat themselves up over it, but still like had a drive to be like, I started from a zero star performance and I need to like work. It helps my way that they're both it. like actors, but it definitely and they helps were that like both actors. I'm not actually doing. I this. feel secure that I will still be. I An still actor. love acting. Yeah, yeah. Whereas Dal, I feel like he is more it. of a trainee. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah, totally. My favorite moment with Doa was when he did his test and he got zero stars again and Hanbin gave him a hug and he started crying. Cause like, that's real. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, I talked about it before, so I don't need to harp on it again, but like, it's just so nice to see people just, feel their emotions the way they're actually happening in real time instead of trying to do mm-hmm. something else because of how it may be perceived. I, and he was hot. What? <laughs> yeah, follow that up. Follow that up. <laughs> also, he was good in the dual cha- the dual battle. Yeah. So he has like charms that could be like 100%. A performer. 100%. Presented as a villain throughout the course of the show, Christian's determination in his first challenge was fodder for Mnet to create a character for voters to rally against. Ending his time in 45th, at least now, he's free. Just the whole Christian edit, I think is just unfortunate because he definitely seemed like the person who came in the most like prepared of what it could be for him. Right. And so I think that equated to like him coming off in the way that he did being like a villain, being driven or dedicated because he was trying to go for the things that he wanted. Yeah. It's hard to be like him getting the note that like he was too feminine is uncalled for because the 
choreographer, the dance master is looking at it from like a very specific way. Yeah. And there's no like way to be like, oh, this is your interpretation of what backdoor is. Right. So that's why I'm like, I understand why you said that. I don't agree with it. I wish that they. I would be more okay with it if like during Tomboy, he had looked at them and been like, you need to serve more fucking cunt. Yeah. Then like I would be like, like, then it's You're fair. not feminine enough right. for this song. Right. Yeah. You yeah. could tell though that Christian was like, I know what's going to happen. I mean, by the time he got to Limousine, he was like, this is probably just like. And what a go- what, what, it's what a, a great strong way to- performance yeah. to end your time on. Like yeah. it's it, his performances. All three of them are so good in that song. But he especially is like such a star. It feels like such a release for him. Yeah. That like, I'm going to show you why. Why? <laughs> yeah. Christian. Yeah. I, I loved I while I didn't love his narrative in the first challenge, I liked his trajectory on the show and how he ended his time. And here's what you're going to get from the Chinese and Taiwanese Chinese an IG live. Oh, baby. baby girl. As soon as, as soon as these contestants are out, they turn IG on. Yes. And they're like, ask me an AMA. Yeah. Anthony's my best friend. Oh, that was so sweet. That was really sweet. I didn't expect that, but I think limousine probably brought them together. Yeah. Obviously of like we're writing about how hard this experience is. Yeah. And I wonder in my delusional mind, they're probably like, we have a lot in common because we're not from here. Yeah. But this is our dream. We both speak English. We both speak so English. Can, yeah. We're trying to fit ourselves into like the K pop machine when in reality we're probably too unique for them. Yeah. Is what I feel like what their similarity is. Yeah. <laughs> but I love that he's on Instagram. Go follow Christian on Instagram. The fact Instagram. that Christian has more followers than Mnet. And say that. So who's following Mnet? I think I am technically. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying Christian, this is an open invitation if you want Christian to be will, interviewed by yes, Boys Love Boys Planet. If you want to be interviewed by us, please. We would love to interview you. Yeah. My God, could you imagine? He's independent. He's not with a company. Yeah. Having previously debuted in the group Uptension, Yi Dong Yol led his team and man in love to an exciting performance. However, his performance couldn't get him out of his rank in the 40s and was sadly eliminated. There got to a point in the show where, like, the older, more experienced trainees i end up kind of coaching the other trainees or like helping them out because they were constantly getting leaders like yeah. dongyo was a leader umuti was a leader it's the winnie all over again it's the winnie where it's like but it's not letting yourself shine it's right. giving very asia o'hara like you keep helping other people but we're not seeing like how good you are it's the that i mean honestly it feels stupid to like harp out harp on again there should not be 98 people on the show. I like, I don't, I don't know what to say. Like, yeah. Or you don't show us do all You cannot do anyone justice. Yeah. Especially and I, with the way like shows edit where they'll show the same part like four times in a yes. row. Which just builds Imagine time. Imagine the know. screen time that could go on new people if they didn't feel like they had to do that. The like yeah. repeating reaction. Yeah. I, the thing with Dong Yeol though is I wonder if he always had a sense of like, because I technically have this other group. If this doesn't pan out, then at least I'm just here for a valuable experience. Sure. I mean, that's how you have to leave at that point. That's true. That's like the only that's way how you, can you really have. think about it. Otherwise, you're going to be like, I hate this. <laughs> you're going to be Ichan doing your hair in, in the mirror. In the corner. Yeah. yeah. What I will say about Dong Yo is, Mama, he posted an Instagram story of like him in bed. Like, good morning. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Set the boys free. Give them their phones. Give them their phones. Give them their phones. When we get to me, someone you. needs to give Camden his phone. And that's all I'm that's going all to we're say. Saying. Just but someone needs to alert Camden that he needs a phone. Maybe to make a phone call. Maybe to get on WhatsApp. Maybe Hit to the group chat. Just to be like, hey guys, enough, enough, <laughs> everyone, chill, <laughs> everyone, stop. please. 
Dong Yeo has definitely uh, gotten a lot of likes from me. A lot of photos have been liked. Great. Uh, Perfect. So I'm very excited to see what comes next. Mm, mm-hmm. Kong was beloved by the Star Masters and his fellow trainees with his angelic vocals, bright personality, and playful attitude. As his time at Voice Planet ends, we hope this won't be the last time we see his shining light. I almost want to say this one feels worse than Wumuti, only because he had a narrative that he it was like getting better. Yeah. There was never a moment where Kong was like, he's really struggling. Oh, his pronunciation is bad. We didn't see his audition on the show. We saw it on YouTube. Mm-hmm. We didn't get the judge's comments. So we just assumed like, oh, that's probably why. So like, it just felt like, and it's just crazy comparing him to Dong Long Hai. He definitely got way more of a story. Yes. Oh, my God. I mean, Dong, you wouldn't even know Dong Hong Hai was on the show. Like, honestly, if he wasn't blonde, people would genuinely, I yeah. genuinely people would not know he's on the show. So I, I really do feel bad about Kong, especially since we're seeing a lot more backstage stuff. He was like a little butterfly, like and even in mm-hmm. the, the like uh, rehearsal cams, butterfly, he would always be like hanging out with people, like messing around with people. And so even though he did have that language barrier, his like personality and just like just how warm and friendly he was, could you could tell like everyone loved it. Yeah. He mm. was and so his good. Voice oh, his voice is, is so good, so guys. He's beautiful. such a good singer. Go watch his PR one more time. He's so he sings good. Girls Generation. Yes. Um, he. I did. I will say when the PRs first came out and I watched him, I was like, this guy, he is so sweet and so charming. I think he'll be way too nice to like yeah. stand out. And I. <sighs> It just makes me sad that that was true. This one, this one I was actually crying about earlier when I was watching his, like, fan cams mm-hmm. and stuff. Because I was like, I just was like, he seems so sweet. There's a rumor that There's a he's rumor. getting signed. One, Which would be very exciting. One was like Jellyfish. One was, um, it said like a, a company that's been known, that was known like during the second generation or whatever. So... Mm. Whatever it is, I'm ready to support because we definitely need more Vietnamese idols. I'm also not a native Korean speaker. This is going to shock a lot of people. It's not my mother tongue. (laughs) But I like sometimes, as someone who doesn't speak Korean, when I can hear someone's native accent coming through in Korean. Yeah. I think it's kind of charming. Yeah. I don't think we are as precious about, like, English as, like, Korea is about Korean, Korean. the language. Um, it reminds me a little bit of like French. France, France, French. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, they have like a whole day to celebrate like the written language. Yeah. So that's, which is cool. But like we have our own issues in America. I'm not saying anything. I just, I wish it didn't sometimes feel like it boiled down with the global trainees and being like, you didn't pronounce it right. Yeah. Cause like you, that's something you can just work on. Has yes, nothing to, that has I don't nothing know. to do with like your talent. Sing it on right a la, now. girl. La la yeah. la la la. Yeah, because he was definitely like angelic. Dong Hong Hai was the highest viewed global signal song fan cam and received a hundred percent support not once but twice. Surprising many, it turns out that those votes didn't turn on to regular votes for him to make it to the next round. I don't think... I'm not worried about Dong Hong Hai because he looks the way he looks. He sounds great. Like, he has a very nice voice and he has, like, very nice lines when he dances. Mm -hmm. And he signed with Fantasio, who created Astro. Right. And I'm not worried... He he could be... He looks like he would be in the next generation of Astro. Yeah. It's, like, already there. Yeah. So I'm really not worried about Dong Hong Hai. I will say I love that he was very popular. He was getting a lot of votes. And, like, he was just... It was nice to, like, celebrate someone so, like, nice and bright. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, they never felt like he needed to be, like, we need to, sh- like, be Especially darker. for his, like, 
I'm not kidding. He had no narrative on the show. Yeah. Nothing. He didn't have a storyline. You didn't see you. You saw like maybe a second of his audition. I don't think you saw his. The most time he got was him picking his love me right. Yes. <laughs> That's what's crazy. And he was guys. The he was the most watched global fan cam and they never they didn't show they pretended any. like he was like, I don't know, 12. I yeah. It was so weird. Yeah. I I ha- I am desperate to know what the reasoning was behind some of their like who were going who to situation. narrative decisions because like you would assume that you would base it on like the top nine fan cams of each side because like there's actual data you can point to to be like these are popular Let's we'll show hit them. we'll hit higher numbers on the show if we show them show more them. yeah blah 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 and they like kind of did but. But more for I say would say the K group than the G group, because like Anthony was two, yeah, and Anthony didn't get a narrative either. No, Anthony, Anthony got didn't... one clip with Haruto where they went, <laughs> and then that <laughs> was like, and then Anthony went home. Yeah, eight episodes later, it's a shame. It is a shame, but I'm not worried for Dong Hong Hai. I want Dong Hong Hai. Dong Hai will debut. I want to see Dong Hong Hai with black hair. Uh, or like a, just like a brown. Sure. Let's just, I just think like the honey yellow. Let's tone I've down the before, honey a little bit. Just like tone it down. Just tone it down. Ji Yoon So's presence was first felt in his all-star performance with his fellow K-group trainees from Yewa Entertainment. Although his performances were always solid and stable, he wasn't able to capture enough votes and hearts to keep him safe. Nyon's own cousin. Nyon's own. Nyon's own. It's so funny because he, you rewatched the PR video today and you're like, oh, he was the hockey guy. And he definitely gives like, I mean, he gave like straight energy in, you know, he was in the room with all the baby girls singing hype boy. uh, A lot of this group, because I watched all their PRs. A lot of this group did not finish their PRs. A lot of this group. Oh, Yunso didn't finish this, right? He apologizes. Yunso, uh, Yunso apologizes. Christian apologizes. When he was watching Butterfly and Feel Special, he like got emotional. Ugh. I don't know if you remember that. He was like, I couldn't tell which one it was, but he was like gonna cry for one of them. And like, I think for Feel He's Special, so me. for Feel Special, he was like, it's so sad. <laughs> like he was like, oh, it's so sad. Well. So there's we all felt that way. There's almost a little bit. I want to say there might be a little baby girl in Yunso, mask baby girl. But also, like I think he, like he got to spend time with, with like Ungi. Ungi and Ungi. I like that he was like in my head in the narrative I have in my head. He like, you He's know, like, I feel bad. I, I just I like Ungi. I like my roommates. Yeah, yeah. I can. I am out of my mind. The parasocial is parasocialing. As a young and new trainee, Im Jun Sa sought the support and training from his older trainees to help him get through the difficult challenges of BTS's songs. Although his mangne charms couldn't take him to the next round, we see a bright future for this young up-and-comer. It is funny. Every time he sang in the show that wasn't the star level test, he did a BTS song in. He did Danger PR, and he did. And then his two performances were BTS. Oh, yeah. Because he, does, Cause he um, does. um. I need you, girl. Oh, yeah. Hey. I need you. But hey, I so. I thought his last I thought his last performance was really good, uh, even though. I think he didn't. I don't think he was proud of his performance, but I think he should be because I actually thought it was very good. And I, I'm not worried for him either because he's the he was one of the freshest trainees, right? Like he's yeah. been doing it for like four months or something. Like because that. he's so young and he's already gotten uh, a following from this. I think he's gonna like be in a group in like a year or two. I think he was very good though. Yeah. There's like definitely at least like natural talent that just needs to be like refined. Yeah. With his chiseled jaw, a stellar smile, and dashing good looks, G 
Chen Jian Yu had the makings of being a main visual force in Voice Planet. However, his language barrier could have proven to be a larger hurdle, and sadly, didn't quite get him enough votes to stay. It's such a shame that we didn't get to see more of Jen Yu because he is so attractive. Yeah. He's so handsome. What? When his forehead is out. I know. I know. There was a video today it's of him crazy. on the airport, and and just oh. like Ma Jingxiang, people were like following him and like asking him, like, "Please come back." And he was Wild. like, "I'll be back. Don't worry." Again, where was the narrative? Where was the storyline? Where was anything ever? And not just like handsome, like oh, dashing. That. You know, this is gonna be so stupid, but he looks like a guy that I could have had a crush on, like when I was like in high school and college. Mm-hmm. You know, before I met the love of my life, obviously. Mm -hmm. So (laughs) it's just such a shame because I think he could have, like, taken that helm as, like, a visual. Yeah. The owner of the infamous Red House, Zheng Mingyu, charmed everyone as a lovable goofball. While struggling with technical skill, he grew in the hearts of many by working as hard as he could to get better with each challenge. I think this is the best move for Mingyu's career. I am uh, so truly, happy he truly, did the show. He he went on Instagram Live and people were like, who was the best vocalist in K-Group? And he said Zhang Hao. The man the has man. two brain cells to rub together. That's it. Oh. He's so charming. Like charming actually you. charming, <gasps> charming you. <gasps> we could have we could have saved this man and got him to the next round by starting a hashtag. Hashtag charming you. Hashtag oh, charming you. Guys, it's our fault. It's our fault. We did it wrong. Remember when Mingyu was in my first top nine mm-hmm. in episode zero? Because you were like, I just sense a great himbo energy from him. And, and Mama? the way I've never been more right. I've not always been right. But on that one, here's what we'll say. On that we, one, I clocked it so fast. I don't know. I just I feel like we have a good sense in men. We also <laughs> from the people <laughs> that we're just like, I can see what's going on here. We from this is what I also want to say. This group who all got eliminated have some of the actual best mystery box videos. Oh, Ming, you doing this? Yeah. Not reacting to the ghost. Because he knew it was jellyfish and then waited until the end and then their time was up. And then he goes, oh, it's jellyfish. And they were like, and they were like time's up. Time's girl. up, girl. And then had no reaction to the ghost. Just we, some really We lost great... sight, I think, of the impact of the mystery box challenges. That we really I... did. We I think, really think Ungi is the last person that we can't disappoint the power of the mystery box because that was when yeah i think that was that's probably yeah yeah, the last good mystery box everybody else is basic (laughs) because they're all basic Ryan's past videos may have affected his popularity with his votes. However, he unfortunately didn't stand out enough, unlike his other trainees from Yewa, to keep him in the competition. We've never really talked about Brian. We always say Brian go to sleep. I think just because he looks sleepy. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. He just... And, but he's very sweet. He's very nice. His PR video with him at the flower shop. It was so cute and charming. Very sweet. And so I think I think with Brian he just didn't have like the little oomph. He was just very nice. Yeah. Everything was nice. Everything was very like good. It's giving like Robin fierce. It's giving like Stupid. Do you know what I mean? Where it's like where's the little edge that I just need? There was a little bit of like controversy with Brian because of like what he may have said in an old show, but Right. We're not here to talk about that. We're not here to talk about 
but I will say, like, taken out of context. It's, it's not great. It's not great, and it's why people, I think, like, have just fully not supported he, Brian. They, he didn't get spare votes for it. Let's just yeah. say that. So I think the best thing for Brian is to just go back to Yewa, keep training. Yeah. Hopefully the past forgets. And just, like, get... Yeah, I feel like just get... I think stage presence is probably his biggest thing that he lacks. Yeah. I agree. He was good in Butterfly, though. Yeah. What can I say? I loved Butterfly. Like Brian, E.A. Dom's past may have hindered his popularity, despite being an all-star and a skillful dancer. Whether his past styling or his height could have been reasons why he was never in the hearts of voters. The biggest shame for Yedam is that he was incredibly talented. He's extremely extremely talented, talented dancer. Like yeah. probably one of the best dancers on the show. Yeah. And just couldn't. We're going to say it. We'll say it. The girls thought he was too short. It does feel that way, doesn't it? That's what it feels like to me. And who the, who the fuck cares, girl? Who cares? Who, who cares? cares? Uh, guys, we have to stop caring about height. It is it is so inconsequential. <laughs> Truly. Because you're watching these people from a TV or your phones or in the back of a stadium. They're all on on a big screen in the stadium. It doesn't matter if it doesn't matter, or girl. Short. It's all about the illusion. It's all about the fantasy of like, well, one day he could look at me in the crowd and ask me to marry him, and I'd obviously like Jennifer, want like Jennifer Lopez and marry me. Yeah, just like just marry like me. That. Yeah, well, truly. Why do we care? Also, Tom Cruise is. Uh, listen, <laughs> Tom Cruise is his own problem, but. Also a short person. Many people are short. Stop hating on short people. It doesn't matter. It does. It truly doesn't matter. He is extremely talented. He played the trombone. Yeah. Played the imperial (laughs) death march. (laughs) He's just a man of many talents. So even if it's not this group, I hope there is a group that like will utilize this like insane amount of talent. Yeah. Oh, even if he does like something like a, he is like a dance forward group. He is so good in the law performance. He oh, is yeah. so good in that performance. And what's sad is, you know, they probably filmed that after the elimination too. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ugh. although he seemed to fade into the background compared to his other former group member, Chao Gi. No one in the show truly embodied the Boys Planet moniker of bright, shining boy, quite like Oh Sung Min. I think what's saddest about Sung Min is that, I mean, we got to hear a little bit about like him saying, I quit my group to do this. Quit, whatever that means, pressured out by his company, told he's too feminine, whatever. Whatever it may be, we don't really know. I think the saddest part is that like, for a lot of people, they... they felt this was their last chance and I think Soman was one of those one of those <sighs> he did have like I mean he saw the people like leaving notes for him he on his rest day he like got to meet some fans mm-hmm. and he was very like he f- I saw yeah, a video he went to that one like cafe where they had a banner for him yes. I think or whatever yeah and because it was his birthday and he like right, told his yes. fans like please don't worry about me like it really is gonna be okay but it's like <sighs> So is it just that they didn't know what they wanted to do with TO1? I think so. They just like threw a group together and then were like, well, we'll see what sticks. And then they were like, well, but most they... of them are not feminine. So yeah. we'll just throw out the ones who are. I just like, fuck off. It's so sad because it's so sad. they already have the talent there. I know. <laughs> He's so charming and cute and bright that it feels like a true shame that like there's no place in K-pop for him. There's it, no nowhere in K-pop. What are we doing? 
The call is coming from inside the house. It sucks, guys. This sucks. This isn't fun. I'm not having a good time. <laughs> yeah, we can tell from how sad you were walking <laughs> along the water. A trainee with a killing voice and a killing smile captured the hearts of many with his oft-repeated umuti ti 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 chorus. His Zoom performance practically went viral, but unfortunately, likes don't equal votes. <laughs> no, I can't do this. I can't. Hold on, hold on. I have to get water. I think for me, for umuti, like. Obviously, he had a, an amazing voice. I can't believe great I'm crying. Vocal. This is so like, stupid. Like he, he is a vocalist, but he was also such a great leader. And like I, from just like the things that I've read, like he was also a former trainee. Girl, I have to go to therapy. What is going on? I think he also fits in that Winnie narrative of like he probably did a lot of like helping out the younger trainees more. Mm-hmm. I think he did a good job his of still showing so still showing like himself, like his own charms. And we were so he was 34 that I felt like, oh, just a little bit more. He really could have been up there. I really thought I genuinely thought that because of how popular Zoom was mm -hmm. and then it, he had an extra week, basically, did that he, he was going to like have a jump because like. Almost everyone who liked Zoom was like the one of the highlights was his verse. Yeah. Which is true. And he's always in all of the backstage videos. Like he is friends with everyone. <sighs> K or G. Like he's everywhere. He even shows up like in the trailer. He shows up and watches the artist mission. And he's crying. And he's crying. <laughs> maybe, We're the same. <laughs> maybe Umuti's mother. And we just... <sighs> Umuti's like the hardworking mother who's like working two shifts. Single mom who works two. <laughs> but I also am not worried as much for Umuti because I do think he has so much. He's very like multi-talented. I think like, he's so multi-talented and like, like he's he a producer. Has, like he can sing. He has like, like perfect Korean. Yeah. Because like I was looking through. I watched his like everybody else. I watched his PR today. And, like, all the Korean comments were like, his Korean is so good. Mm. It'll get you far, girl. Literally just because of that. I mean, it is what it is, but. Thank you, Muti. <sighs> A young producer with a gift of writing and creating rap verses, Pak ji impressed even his older trainees with his mature lyrics and emotional intelligence. Although his Bepler dreams are over, Jihoo's future is as bright as his smile. I like saw a little hint of it, even when he was doing hot sauce and those giant ass goggles that I was like, there's something really charming about yeah. this one. So I'm glad that they were able to kind of like open up a little bit more. And I'm just, I mean, just limousine was so, <laughs> was so revolutionary, good. out of the box, groundbreaking. Never been done. Never been done. <laughs> It was so good <laughs> that I I can't I it truly made me feel like the kids are going to be all right, Mary, like truly like they he was so good, I, like so mature. And I just remember. OK, I remember the week this show started and we got half of the more, more probably more than half the of the auditions. And I remember people being like these trainees feel less talented than ever before on an idol show mm. or a survival show. And I just like, all we keep coming back to is that everyone was so good. So like, obviously not everybody who's good can be in the top nine. It comes down to nine people. Fine. We get that. But like all of your preconceived notions, just because one, I don't know, like Jihu until this point had done nothing that I was like, impressed by blown away by even just made me notice him and some of that is like obviously the edit because like they didn't give him screen time mm -hmm. a common refrain but th you can't sit here and tell me that his the entirety of limousine and his performance in it is not like exceptional yeah he's so good 
he like the idea of being like, let's just write about how we feel right now because we all feel the same way. And like that could that could have been so trite and so like whiny and the fact that it doesn't and they like killed it. And honestly, probably the only reason why they didn't win was because they were up against, like, other style of songs. Like, they were against, like, a tomboy, Mm -hmm. which is, like, performance-focused. Right. Rather than this, where it's, like, you could have... This was, like, a different style song. Right. You know? Uh, I also am not worried about you. He's so young, and he's already showing this much talent. It's crazy. You're going to be fine, girl. Philippines' own Anthony may have gotten sick at the inopportune time when he needed to impress in his early performances. While very popular, he couldn't get enough support to make it past this round. And and mong talent, ang, ang galing mo talaga. Tsaka napakabait mo. Oh my god. Alam ko mahirap siya ngayon. Baka nasa, you know, wake one ka, tapos hindi maybe hindi ka sure na sure. bakit nandun ako, mm-hmm. bakit ako trainee dito, kung ito lang yung parang, ito lang yung gusto kong gawin, pero parang ano nang gagawin ko ngayon. I don't think, I don't think that's the case for him. Like, I, I think, agree. <laughs> I think he, <laughs> hard agree. <laughs> I think he knows that like, there is a future for him. I think it definitely helped that he was in limousine to kind of take in all of those feelings of like, K-pop isn't like ready for me because I like his lyrics were along the lines of like they don't see why I'm special, yeah. but I know I am. Like that kind of vein. It's so crazy that the feeling special was like a common theme in that episode of yeah. feeling like I know my worth. Yes, and so I think uh, I'm so glad that he had this number Mm -hmm. before leaving to probably give him that sense of like confidence that like it'll be okay yeah and you know what he was out with min today in everland you know riding rides i i just hope they treat him well because he's like such a sweet sweet like angel and obviously like very popular like he had a fan base so gonna be okay Anthony mahal na mahal the fact okay. that Anthony was in the pedometer with <gasps> Jiwoong and then and then the mystery box with Christian, Christian. but oh. also being the panda in the PR having the like having a I mean a highlighted ending fairy in the actual that's the thing up until all, up until before the first position where he was like nine or eight, yeah, that was all self-made. Yeah. So like, this kid like already knows that like I know my charms and I'm yes. just going to like really be genuine to myself and it worked. It's so cool to see Filipinos. In K-pop, sorry, we have one. We still have one more in there. So <laughs> Jay is still in there. Jay is still in there. We still have that blood in there. But I just, I it's just definitely different. It's definitely different. It's definitely different because yeah. I think for Anthony, like he obviously speaks Tagalog. Like he, his mom he had the is, snacks. He had this. Mama had piatos. He had a bag of piatos in his bag. Ah. Uh. Especially because the Philippines is such a huge market for K-pop and like mm-hmm. K-drama and everything Korean. I mean, he's the highest ranked Southeast Asian yeah. of the six that were on the show. Yes, Jay has Filipino blood, but we're not counting him really as like a Southeast Asian idol because he... No, because he's American. He's American. <laughs> a Harvard legend, Chai Jin Shin was the leader for his group in Feel Special, but unfortunately never gave a star making performance i don't know if he's a grad i think he like went to undergrad and then left maybe i don't know because he said he's going to hong kong university in his pr maybe he went to harvard high school is there a cambridge high school (laughs) come on harvard high guys when the trainees are out the ig is on and even chai jin oh yeah 
like he he straight up was like Hanbin was like super warm like Sung Hanbin very kind very warm person he talked about they asked him about feel special and he was like we were all just so stressed because we didn't have yeah. a main vocal it was so nice to hear his perspective because so much has been I mean we talked about it but like yeah. genuinely in the boys planet fan community so much was said about feel special that I do think at some point the conversation just started to be about the conversation about feel special and not about like what it actually was. And I think that it was nice that he was able to be like, we all like each other. No one was mad. We just were all stressed. And like, it's a lot of, it's so much pressure. Yeah. And I like that he was just able to like put that to rest. Yes, Like very much just like we were all stressed. Mm -hmm. It was a very stressful situation. Yeah. We all just wanted to make it work. Yeah. And even him like saying like, you know, the dancing was a different style of dancing from what I'm trained to. So I had a hard time there and we didn't have a vocalist. Like it, it was very refreshing because I think like Chai Jensen specifically, like obviously also didn't get a lot of screen time, like because of the fact that his Korean isn't as good yet. So yeah, there's just he does like most of his pr in english yeah speaking of china from his first appearance on the show everyone was impressed with ma jingxiang's visuals his youthful features however couldn't translate to enough votes to get to the top 28 and he ended his time in position 30. out of the four cover girls of boys planet ma jingxiang Mm. is officially out I mean, they were. Ma Jingxiang, Gyu Vin. Matthew and Hanbin. Matthew and Hanbin. And Ma Jingxiang had the visuals, had the looks. But you know what I saw on his website today? Like, on the Boys Planet website. Oh, oh, oh. You know how they have like a motto? Uh-huh. His was like, if if you keep practicing, then you won't like have, uh, like be nervous or whatever. And I literally, it explains it everything. Literally was like full circle. I'm like, this is literally the principles that he lives by. That like, yeah. if I just keep practicing, it's his motto. Then I will have the confidence that I need to perform. Yeah. And it to me completely made sense. Like his entire story, how he acted, how he like. There is no one in. who has been on this show or gotten an edit on this show where I've not been able to envision how they feel. Yeah. In that moment. When he was pleading, literally crying to Seungmin, like, can we please stop talking about this? Yeah. Uh, we need to practice. Like, yeah. Even though none of them were like, I don't know why he feels that there's no time. He genuinely felt. Right. He, gen- he was like, there is no time. Yeah. And so it was just like, that's someone who's like working so hard to make this work. Yeah. That I can't really fault him for that. And no. I think it was just, it ended up being, he just didn't fit the any of the dynamics of the groups that he was in. He, he I think, had, I mean, we had talked about it in that episode, but like I think he had the opposite of the Schwibo problem, where he was like, I want to work more than anything, even though we probably need to like, stop and address think. something yeah. first. And then when like, because they were all sitting together for the elimination. So he was sitting next to Oh Sung Min. And Sung Min was like holding his mm-hmm. hand. Because like Sung Min knew he was going home. But like there was still a chance. Yeah. And like I don't even know if I am a person who could be that out of my own way in like feeling self-important or whatever. Like, I feel like I don't know if I'd be able to, like, give that kindness that, like, Sung Min could give at that moment. I'm, I'm done. I'm done with this, love. I'm over it. I'm also not worried about Ma Xiao. I mean, by the amount of people that show up at the airport for him, and he's also rumored to be someone that probably, that also got signed. And he looks signed, like and that. And he looks like that. And we can say it. He looks like that. How dare. Can you believe these people walk around just in the out here in the world? I allegedly live just, on the same planet as Ma Jingxiang. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> I am an alien. I must have come from Neptune, girl. 
They're from Boys Planet. Mm. A fellow Wake One trainee, Moon Jung Hyun struggled due to his sickness in the first challenge, but impressed with his second showing during Gang. But unfortunately, he just narrowly missed his chance, finishing at number 29. The more I found out that, like, oh, his name is literally exactly the same as Lee Jung Hyun, they just romanized it differently. Yeah, it's, it's Moon very Jung Hyun, Lee Jung Hyun, and they look alike too, which is mm-hmm. so crazy. Yeah. So it was nice to kind of see a he's, little bit of that narrative. He's Wake like, One as well, right? He's the Mang Ne out of all of the Wake Ones. Is Tay Ray Wake One? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's why Tay Ray was so upset. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. I mean, he's in Wake One. Doesn't say Which, a lot, but right. because he's the Mang Ne, and they, there's Mama still Korea loves to eat up a Mang Ne. They love to get a Mang Ne up on that stage. They really do. <laughs> look at look at number three. He and showed this hair enough. color that he currently has works so well on him. I do not want him to go back Don't to change black. It. It's so good. He has Ooh, he so showed good. enough of his natural talents in vocal and rap and yeah. obviously in his dance that he's he's gonna be a dream idol to make. I wasn't kidding last week or the other day when I said that You would have picked Jung in. Yeah. To stay. Yeah. I would have picked any of them, honestly. I think they all have things that they still can show. Mm-hmm. I mean, here's what I will say. Shockingly, it is somehow pretty much ended up split even again. Yeah. There's, I think K has two more. There's... Uh, 15 and... 15 and 13. 13. Yeah. Um, but it just means that there's there was just one less. It's split that way. Um, which is pretty, pretty impressive. The yeah. way that we've been getting K versus G, like how how skewed it usually is with K. Yes, towards K. Yeah. So you know, don't give up on your. Don't give up on your G Beplers. Don't give up on your G Beplers. You won't get a nine G Bepler, okay? But like, if we, we could, can get three, we're at three right now. We could get four. We could sneak a fourth in there. We really could. If we push so hard. If we push so hard. And someone finds something really damaging out about one of the, the K in the top nine. <laughs> Just real, like real oppo, opposition research. I've loved all of the, th- I have had so much fun doing this. Not this, but this. <laughs> the whole of it all. Yeah. Not this episode. <laughs> And if you thought this was grim, mama, girl, you ain't ready for the threequel. You are not ready. This is going to suck. But we're going to get through I don't know it what to- we're going to do next time. But we're going to get through it together. It's going to be a therapy session. See you. See you. See you then. This weekend. the first he was the one he was among yeah okay let me do that again thank you philippines own anthony may have gotten sick at the inopportune time when he needed to impress you to back you have to walk backwards